Hello everyone, this is me again, Elchgrun, and we are playing the world as I know, and this is the alternate um, title screen. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Alright, so last time we did these two. This time we're going to do this one. Maybe the next one, depending on time. I don't know. I'm going to try and keep these um, videos around 15 minutes at the most, if we can. So, let's do this one. Again, I'll show you um, what these guys have got to say. What M has to say, what Robinson has to say. So, uh, yeah, pause the video if um, you want to read this. Just make sure you bring the boat back in one piece. Ah, oh, he's going to be disappointed. Because, well, if you see the movie. <laughs> This. It's like racing down the Thames. But if they fall in that water, they're gonna die. That water is disgusting in the Thames. <laughs> Look, a London bus. You know, like the ones in London. Get a bond. Take a right off. Oh, God, miss. I like how the music just cut off. Right, so let's kick her ass. <laughs> you can't um, shoot her. If you shoot her, you fail the mission. You shoot them guys in the boat. Like that. <laughs> They're a bit hard to hit, though. These guys take a lot more hits than um, the guys in the last level did. They've got like a. Um, I guess more armor or something. Wow, I missed like every shot in my last one to play. Ah, just controller. I know it sounds stupid to be like blaming the controller, but no. God, this controller's terrible. It's an old controller. I've had it for a very long time now. I wonder why this gig console. I bought it when it first came out, in like 96 when it came out over here. It's got the golden controller. See, I remember bits of this level. Damn it! Right, well, let's restart it then. <laughs> This is why you don't give me a sniper rifle in games. <laughs> this is why I'm not known as a sniper. Haha, <laughs> got ya. We'll see a lot of that bow on this level. Oh yeah, um, I was gonna explain. Um, I might end up labeling these videos as uh, Twine. T W I N E, which is you know it's obviously it's the abbreviation of this game. Um, but like the reason I I used to call it it all the time is because of uh, when I used to like read Nintendo magazines and stuff, they'd always uh, list the game as uh, Twy. Speaking of which, they, they always had they always had um, good reviews. This game they had a lot of good reviews, like. 80 cents and stuff like that. Like, not, nowhere near as high as Golden Eyes reviews, but you know. I think that's still pretty good considering it wasn't made by Rare. I mean, Rare did sort of set the benchmark for uh, for these uh, games. Ooh, spear gun. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by diving people. Oh, okay, well. One fall, fall, fall. Yeah. Let's reload this beast. This gun's pretty good. It's a pretty good one to use on this level. Now in this room is um body armor on like agent and possibly secret agent. But it's not in um, double O. There's actually no armor at all on this, uh, on this difficulty on this level. It's just the way this game is. It's cruel. Any 
anymore. You see, I remember vaguely where it, most of the enemies are in this level. <laughs> I think that guy just been shot in the face by a spear. I don't think it's gonna get back up anytime soon. I like how he's not just paying attention at all. It's just like his uh, friend to his left has been killed and just shot that other guy in the face with a spear. And just <laughs> that seems to know. <laughs> and Bond is here. Everyone knows Bond is here. Everyone's just like so happy to see him. It's like Bond came back to uh, England for his birthday or something. See, I remember that guy was up there. Oh, hostages. Now on um, agent mode, um, here you get a um, little voice message thing from R telling you how to use the grapple. You can only use it on um, those little, on these things that look like that. But I thought that was pretty cool that you think actually Gave uh, you the, like Bond's watching this game, like um, well more so than they had in uh, like Golden. Aha! I see you up there. Oop! Evil scuba diver. Evil scuba divers. From the laser sight on. God, all them guys. I probably could have shot the police car and took them both out. Yes! Did it! Second try, because I sort of shot a civilian the first time. <laughs> Hold on, sir. This area is sealed off. We have a hostage situation. I'm with MI6, let me through. Yeah, he's with MI6. Look at his diamond-shaped head. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I was one second of the award. Um, yeah, like on um, GoldenEye, when you beat certain times on certain levels, you um, like unlock stuff. Um, like in GoldenEye, you unlock cheats and weapons and stuff. In this, you unlock like multiplayer characters, levels, and um, stuff like that. Multiplayer, which is pretty cool. Let's do a quick save. I was almost there. But um, those cops, I've got like a funny story to share about them later on in the project. Underground uprising. I remember this one. This one's uh, pretty difficult. Or it's it's a pain because you need to keep a lot of health on it as much as you can. Because um, it's a pretty difficult level wise because you are on the time limit on this one. As you can see here, if you read it. They uh, have a problem down here in the tube, you know, it just so happens that everyone decides to go mental on the day that Bond decides to go on a mission. Your job is to get the device. Bomb disposable kit. See there, there we go. You can read all that. Let's watch the next cutscene. The woman you're chasing is in this station. Her gunmen have seized the whole area and they've got civilians hostage in there. Even worse, we've reports of some kind of bomb. The whole situation is a mess. Keep your men at a safe distance. I'll handle this. Yeah, sir. You might need it. <laughs> There's something funny about how he leans forward like that. Right, let's go. Now we're uh, in the other difficulties. I think you get six minutes. But in um, yeah, double O, you don't. I think I killed that guy. Run here, and grab the weapons. Now one thing that's cool on this level is you get these. 
Oh, sorry. I, was, I didn't know you was there. Get down upstairs. Oh, God. I didn't even notice there was something down here. I was coming down here for body armor. There's body armor down here on um, a different difficulty. Busted released. Yeah, the, the stun, stun grenades don't last as long as the, uh, the uh, darts do. But, uh, still... Oh god. There's a lot more enemies there, remember, on this one. <laughs> Bond is here! <laughs> I like shooting these paintings down on this one. It's fun. Uh, never a stun grenade, because I remember there being hostages over here. Help me. You only have a few seconds of stun grenades to sort out these guys. Any more down here? Run, you stupid civilians! Quick, Bob the Builder, run! There we go. Oh god, my aim is terrible. There we go. Now if you mess about enough, you can make these guys fall into direction. Like stuns. Yay! God, there's a lot more hostages there, remember, as well. Yeah, that train will kill you if you get hit by it. Believe it or not. I know I'm here. Does it remind me? Oh, I've messed this up. Yep. I'm so close as well. There's just too many hostages. I hate hostages. What? What? What's he using a sniper rifle for? <laughs> right, I'll get back to uh, that train and then I'll re cut it into that part again. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, come on. Right, we're back here again. This is annoying. Seriously, how does he do that? Oh, come on. No, <laughs> I shot the hostage. Yes, did it. Finally, God. <laughs> I feel like killing someone after a while. Right, he's going to fuse this bomb. Uh oh. Bond is not here. Right, I know it's in here somewhere. Bond is not here. Stop telling these lies. Here we go. 
Right, so what you need to do is you need to get a blue bar down without making a red bar fill up. The red bar fills up quicker than the blue. You just, the easiest way to do it is just keep tapping Z. But, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying still. Come on, you can do it. It's like, um, some movie that I can't think of right now. There we go. If you mess about um, enough, you can make it, like, just set off after you've already done it. It's kind of funny. I somehow knew there was another guy in here. I like how there's a guy hiding in the women's toilets. Right. Let's finish this. Gotta be careful though. We don't have a time limit now, but uh, just gotta be careful so we don't die. <laughs> I see you. Zap. So, gotta jump across here. I thought there was a guy there. Look at his eyes. His crazy eyes. <laughs> Dead now. Whee! You can actually grapple all the way up here, but uh, I chose not to. I think that guy actually dies there as well. But... Now I've got to run, 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 faster, Bond. run, run, there we go. God, I didn't think I was ever going to do it. Come on, work. Tell me who's behind this. I can protect you. Not from him. And there you have it. Not from him. And Bond falls into the Millennium Dome like a complete person. Oh, another cutscene. The money has been treated to turn it into an explosive. It was triggered by a signal via King's lapel pin. Obviously, someone close to King switched the original for this trigger device, but we don't know who. There's more. I've worked out that the money Sir Robert paid for the report was exactly the amount Renard asked as ransom for King's daughter, Electra. The whole thing was a setup. Renard wanted me to bring that money back here. He wanted MI6 to deliver a bomb to King. It's a message. Renard is dun, back. Dun, dun. After King asked me for help, I sent 009 to kill Renard. Electra managed to escape before 009 caught up with the target in Syria. He put a bullet in his head, but Renard somehow survived. The bullet is still there, and it will eventually kill him. But until then, he can feel no pain and push himself harder than any normal man. Now King is dead, and MI6 is humiliated. He's had his revenge. Not quite. Renard had three enemies in that kidnapping. Sir Robert King, MI6, and the one he hasn't touched. Electra. She must be next on his list. Electra has taken over the construction of her father's oil pipeline from the Caspian Sea. Find out who switched the lapel pin. If Renard returns, make sure Electra comes to no harm. And the plot thickens. Now we have a terrorist to deal with. A known terrorist. And he's like, enemy of MI6. So... Yes. Right. So, next time we do Cold Reception, which is probably my favourite level, besides maybe the very bottom middle level. I kind of like that one too. But yes, next time we'll do Cold Reception, so we'll see you later.